Okay, so in this equation, we need to go ahead and solve for x. Well, remember, solving for x means that you need to leave x by itself. But I have a couple parentheses. So the first thing we need to do is to distribute every single thing that has a parenthesis. So let's do it. I'm going to do 3 times x, 3 times negative 5. This negative 4x just stays the way it is because he doesn't have anything else to do. Then 6 times x, 6 times negative 10. And then look, there's an invisible one right here, actually, negative 1. So we're going to go ahead and do negative 1 times x and negative 1 times 5. And I get in the first part, oops, there we go. <laughs> so I get 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Then I have negative 4. 6 times x is 6x. Six, 6 times negative 10 is negative 60. Then negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Awesome. Now I need to group the ones on different sides. For example, I'm going to go ahead and group 3x with negative 4x. Well, 3x minus 4x is the same as negative 1x. This is like an invisible one again. Minus 15 stays the same. Now let's go ahead and mix. 6x minus 1x is 5x. Also, negative 60 minus 5 is negative 65. The pair does not allow you to use calculators, so it's very important. You know how to um, simplify and group add numbers, okay? All right, now we don't have the x's on the same side, and the numbers need to go on the same side too. All right, this 5x needs to be moved to this size, and this negative 15 needs to be moved to this size. Remember, anytime I switch anything when I have an equation, I need to change the sign. So I can go ahead and do negative 5x. This is the same as doing this. This eliminates. And I have negative 1 minus 5x. This negative 15, I want to pass it to the other side. Well, I can just go ahead and add 15 on both sides. And then I put uh, plus 15 here. And that's how I get this. Now I can group my x's. Negative 1 minus 5x is equal to negative 6x. Negative 65 plus 15 is negative 50. Awesome. We're almost done. Remember, x needs to be by itself. This negative 6 is multiplying the x. So the only thing I need to do is to divide both sides by negative 6. So let's go ahead and do it. And what happens? This guy eliminates because negative 6 over negative 6 is just 1. Negative 50 over negative 6 is just going to give me 50 over 6. Remember, negative times a negative becomes a positive. However, I need to simplify my fraction. 50 and 6 are both divisible by 2, so I just divide uh, 50 by 2 is 25. I'm just simplifying the fraction. And 6 divided by 2 is just equals to 3. Awesome. My answer is going to be 25 over 3. And that's it. Ta-da! Thanks for learning.